The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Sage 300 customer webinar. My name is Elvin, and it gives me great pleasure to kick off this event and extend a warm virtual welcome to each and every one of you. Today, I will start by exploring the transformative power of digital education via our Sage University. And then my colleague, Lin, will introduce to you how our tech partner solutions are extending the capabilities of Sage 300. This is the agenda for our webinar. I will begin by going through the steps in the registration process. In my opinion, this is the most important objective for today because without registering an account successfully at Sage University, you are unable to appreciate the resources being hosted at Sage University. Next, we will look at some of the courses specially tailored for newbies or for first time Sage 300 users. For the more experienced Sage 300 users, we will also share on the resources that will enhance your knowledge in Sage 300. For those who aspire to accelerate in their career progression, we have certifications to set yourself apart from the crowd. To wrap up my section, I will spend a couple of minutes to share with everyone the benefits of using Sage University before passing the presentation to my colleague, Lin. As always, we will allow anyone to raise their questions in our Q&A session towards the end of this webinar. With the rise of technology and the changing landscape of education, more and more people are opting for online learning as a convenient and flexible way to upskill themselves. As a result, Sage University evolves to become the platform for promoting a culture of continuous learning in Sage products. With hundreds of always available courses, you will be able to improve your productivity and that of your employees, enabling you to focus on growing your business. At Sage University, we offer clear, simple training paths for all experience levels and flexible training options. We also have a huge database of pre-recorded trainings, allowing you to take notes, pause and rewind when necessary, and actively engage with the content. Our place, your place, any place, any time, just in time, just enough learning and certifications to prove knowledge, demonstrate credentials, and forge results. All right, so I'm going to share with everyone the registration process in five simple steps. All right, so in these slides, you will see that I've actually put all the steps into one slide. Okay, now the next slide will show you the steps all right, in more detail. So for step one, all right, you need to click on click create account. All right, once you have the link to log into our Sage University web page. All right. Now the second step is to enter the necessary information and to click on the sign up button. All right. The next step, all right, after you have clicked the sign up button, you will be uh, receiving an email notification from Sage University, all right, to verify your email address. Okay, and then after you have the verification code from the email that you have received from Sage University, you will need to enter the verification code in the code field as seen and click continue. All right, and then in the last step, all right, you will need to complete the registration form, all right, as shown in this slide. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to, all right, um, the Sage University page, all right, to show you the actual steps that, that are involved in the registration process. 
So like I mentioned, click on the link, all right, which will bring you to the welcome page of Sage University. And then because we assume that you are a new user, all right, click on the create account link. Now, once you click on the create account link, you will, you will bring you to this create your account page. All right, in this page, you will need to enter your email address, all right, which you are going to use to register your Sage University account. All right. So, for example, I'm going to say abc at xyz.com. All right. And then you can enter your first name and last name like this. All right. And then in the password field, all right, uh, you will need to enter a string of numbers. All right. Uh, I think not less than uh, eight characters. All right. Which can comprise of both alphabets and numbers. So, for example, you can key in sage one two three four okay and then you have to confirm your password again sage one two three four all right now assuming all right if you have not entered what you are supposed to enter all right you will see a pop-up message like this all right enter a password with at least eight characters all right so this is to uh, alert all right any of you all right who is who intends to uh, create a password that do not uh, adhere to the password policy of Sage University. All right, so please pay attention. All right, that you will need to create a password which is at least all right of eight characters, and among these eight characters, you will need to use both alphabets and numbers. All right, after you are keying your password. All right, after you are keying your password you will need to click on sign up button, all right? The moment when you click on the sign up button, all right, like I mentioned earlier, you will receive an email from Sage University, all right, like this. Okay, so as you can see in my inbox, all right, I have this uh, uh, email, all right, which I received from sage.com, notify.sage.com, and then you will, as you scroll down, you can find your verification code something like this all right and then with this verification code all right you need you will need to enter this verification code into this all right in in the in the step four of the registration process so once you have copy and paste or enter the verification code in this code field all right you can click continue button okay so let's go back here so once you have uh done that right so i'm going to cancel this so once you have um, entered the verification code and click on the continue button it will bring you to this registration form all right so in this registration form all the fields, as you can see here with the exclamation mark or exclamation icon, these are the mandatory fields which you need to complete it, all right, or enter. So, for example, all right, you will need to click on the country. All right, and then as you can see here, you will need to select your CSU display language. And then you will be asked what is your relationship to sage all right here i will say i'm a partner for example but in your in, in your case you should be able to select i'm a customer right and then here you will be able to uh, enter the company name all right and the account number now this account number field is very important all right uh, it is necessary for you to use our default account number which we have defined for every customers here all right so please use this account number all right double nine double nine double nine double nine okay please use the account number double nine double nine double nine double nine all right and then as you move through the other fields you can enter uh, whatever your street uh, one is the city that you are staying in for example all right, the postal code, and then finally the time zone. All right, it's also important to, to make sure you define 
uh, the correct uh, time zone, all right, because sometimes, all right, um, some trainings, all right, um, uh, uh, will be set according to the time zone that you are defined in this page. All right, so as you can see, I've actually entered all the mandatory fields. And then as you scroll down further, all right, there's one important step left, all right, which is you are required to accept the Sage University terms of use and acknowledge the privacy notice and cookie policy. So make sure you flat this checkbox here, all right, make sure it's ticked, and then you can scroll further down and click submit. Okay, so I'm not going to do this. So these are basically the steps which are necessary for you to complete your registration process at Sage University. Okay, so some points to take note. All right, so first thing, all right, here is the link, all right, that you need, need to click uh, to click on it so, so that you will bring you to the uh, welcome page of Sage University for you to uh, create your account. All right, after which, like I mentioned earlier, all right, please uh, create your your password in accordance to the password policy. So what this means is that your password must be a string of at least eight characters. And among these eight characters, you need to use both alphabets and numbers. Okay, uh, you will also might want to check your spam or junk mail folder, all right, for the email uh, sent by Sage University, all right, which will contain the verification code. And, and this process is, is very important because without you entering the verification code, you will not be able to continue with the registration process. Okay, and then last of all, please be reminded that when you are prompted to enter the account number, all right, please use the default account number, which I mentioned earlier, which is double nine, double nine, double nine, double nine. Okay. All right, so let's move on to look at the uh, range of courses like I mentioned, all right, uh, which is catered for uh, newbies or first time Sage 300 users. All right, so here basically I'm going to go back to here again. Let me just close this. Okay, so once you have uh, successfully create your uh, Sage University account, all right, with your uh, registered email address and the uh, password that you have defined, all right, it will bring you to the welcome page, all right. As you can see here, when you log in, right, you will see uh, your name being uh, uh, reflected in the greetings page, all right. Here, I have used Sage three other customers. So as you can see here, it's a customer training. All right, so you are registered as our Sage 300 customer. All right, so the next step that you need to do, all right, is to scroll down to the middle of the screen, all right, where you can click on select my product. Now, because uh, Sage have various products, all right, but today the focus of today's webinar, all right, is on our Sage 300 and Sage 300 Club product. So make sure you click on the Sage 300 slash Sage 300 Club. All right, the first uh, button on the left. All right, so as you can see, once you click on the six three hundred button, you will bring you to the six three hundred training page. All right, so here in the middle of the screen, you will see there are two main blocks. All right, on the left is to view all the training, all the six three hundred training, and on the right is the certification by road. All right, uh, for the section of this agenda, I'm going to uh, go through the. Uh, uh, view training, uh, view all the uh, 6300 training first. 
right? Because uh, the section of this agenda is to uh, focus on uh, users who are new to Sage 300, all right, or they are newbies in terms of using Sage 300. All right, so as you can see in this section, all right, we have a couple of pillars, all right, uh, which allow all the new uh, Sage 300 users to familiarize themselves with this knowledge, all right? So first of all, all right, you will get to see the first pillar starts off with getting started with financials, all right, followed by introduction to Sage 300 Cloud, all right, and then you have a pillar uh, showing you the Sage 300 navigation basics, all right, using the uh, classic desktop screen, all right, as well as the Sage 300 web screens. And then finally, right at the bottom, you will see there's this pillar that actually uh, illustrate the differences between the Sage 300 desktop and red interfaces and how you can navigate through them. All right. But because the way that the course is structured, all right, it will be similar. So just uh, for the illustration purpose, all right, I will just go through with everyone on getting started with financials. All right. So let us click on view training. So as you click on the view training button, you will get to see that you are in the uh, learning package, all right, for Sage 300 getting started with financials, all right. So there are some, some things which I like to share with everyone. First of all, you will see that in this page, you will begin with the detail section, all right. In the detail section, all right, you will see a brief summary, all right, uh, of what this uh, training or course is all about. So as you can see here, uh, it mentions that this Anytime Learning Package is designed for customers looking for basic training for their Sage 300 solution. All right, so I'm going to not going to go through everything, but I just want to point out to everyone that uh, right in the middle, all right, in the uh, uh, details section, all right, you will, uh, you will be able to identify the learning outcomes or the learning objectives of this training. All right, so for example, after you have completed this uh, uh, training, all right, you should be able to use the Sage 300 desktop and red screens, all right, uh, you are able to create uh, customers and vendors, and you are also be able to make payments and receive payments and so on and so forth. All right, so one important thing here to take note is that you will also be uh, um, uh, uh, highlighted, all right, on the number of videos all right, there, are, there, are, there is uh, in this uh, learning package. All right, so here you can see that there are a total of 52 videos. All right, and also as well as the duration. All right, the approximate or estimated duration of this training. All right, which is which will take you about probably uh, three hours and 15 minutes to complete. All right, so what this means is that you will give you all right um, uh, some idea how are you going to plan to complete this training package. All right, so here, as you can see, as I click on or expand the content section, all right, you will be able to see all the topics which are covered in this learning package. All right, starting from Sage 300 Navigation Basics, all right, followed by General Ledger, all right, followed by Accounts Payable, and then Accounts Receivable, all right, and then finally, you will see some additional resources such as the exercise booklet, all right, for this uh, Sage 300 getting started with financials, all right? So these are the topics which you will, all right, uh, be uh, learning, all right, as you complete this learning package, all right? Now, on the right-hand side, I also like to point out to everyone, all right, uh, that because, all right, you are our Sage 300 customers and as 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 such, right, you will be able to uh, enjoy uh, to learn this training without any cost. All right, so here you can see it's zero cost. Okay, and to register for this training, what you need to do is simply to uh, click on open curriculum. Okay, I, I, I apologize for that. Uh, it's taking some time. Okay, but it's because the reason is uh, that, uh, as you have seen earlier, 
uh, there, are, there are about 53 videos, all right? So therefore, it may take a while, all right, for the uh, curriculum uh, to, to start, all right? So here, as you can see, um, once you click on the open curriculum, all right, you will get to see the different sections which I mentioned in the contents page, all right? So first, you will start off with your navigation basics, all right? And then on the left, you will see the 6300 navigation basics. On the right-hand side, you will see the respective topics which are covered in this section. Okay? Then as you progress further down, you will be looking at all the topics which are pertaining to the general ledger. All right, but because again, like I mentioned, there are a lot of uh, videos and trainings, uh, pre-recorded trainings. So therefore, it might take a while, all right, for the system to, to, to process the topics. All right, so here in general ledger, you will again see what are the, the topics covered in this section, so on and so forth. All right, so I'm not going through everything, all right, because like I mentioned, uh, the other training, they are more or less structured in, in a similar manner. Okay, so let's go back to my slides. Okay, so uh, before I go on to the next uh, topic, all right, I just want to point out to everyone here, all right. So first of all, for those who are new, Sage 300 users or for those who are newbies, all right, you are able to get the basic knowledge to use the financial modules in Sage 300, all right. And also at the same time, you will be able to navigate, all right, to understand how to navigate the user interface with the Sage 300 Cloud Web Screens or even using the Sage 300 Classic Desktop and also our Sage 300 web screens. And finally, all right, there will be also a short training explaining the differences between Sage 300 desktop and web interfaces. Okay, so let's move on, all right, to the resources. So now we understand that there are uh, already existing, a uh, group of uh, existing customers who are experienced using uh, Sage 300. But however, for this group of users, all right, they are uh, 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 keen and they are excited to learn, all right, about our latest uh, Sage 300 product features. Or some of them might be uh, in uh, in the account playing the accounting role, all right, and they might be interested uh, in terms of uh, how you can actually uh, close a financial period, especially, all right, how you can process uh, the year end closing. All right, in Sage 300. All right, so there are resources that we will have, all right, uh, to share with you later on. And okay, last but not least, we will also be sharing how you can search for any of the Sage 300 courses easily. Okay, so let me go back to this, uh, to this uh, Sage University website. All right, so uh, just to point out to everyone here, all right, to go back to the uh, landing page or the welcome page, all you need to do is to click on the uh, top left hand corner, there's this Sage icon, you can click on this and it will bring you back to the home page, all right, and then you can again select my product, all right, click on Sage 300 button and then you can click on view training, all right, and as you scroll down below, all right, right in the middle, there is a section on already a pro in Sage 300, all right, so this refers to the group of users, uh, which I mentioned, all right, um, they, they are already experienced in using Sage 300, but they, they are keen, all right, uh, to understand, all right, or, or learn about the latest uh, Sage 300 features, all right. So here, there are two main pillars, all right, in this section. So one is that uh, you will see all the training, uh, all the new product uh, training uh, with regards to the new product releases and updates, all right. So let me just click on this. All right, so as you can see, when I click on the view training button, all right, here you will get to see what is new in version 2021, what is new in version 2023, so on and so forth. All right, okay, so let me go back here. All right, now, like I mentioned, for those who are maybe a accounting manager or, or those who are uh, yeah, financial accountants, all right, uh, they might be interested also to learn about the year end processes. So there will be also a, a training course on this. So when you click on the year end uh, pillar, All right, you will see that there's a learning package on six three hundred year end. So here, all right, you will see that you will be able to uh, learn how you can create a new uh, fiscal year in six three hundred, how you can close a fiscal year, so on and so forth. 
Okay. Now, then I also like to share, all right, on how you are able to um, uh, do searching, all right, uh, in the uh, Sage University site. So here on the top right hand corner, all right, if you can see my screen, there's this uh, uh, this uh, magnifying glass, all right, button which you can click on it. All right, so it's very easy for you, all right, uh, to use this search field to search for any courses. So, for example, if I'm interested interested to uh, see what are the available search 300 courses, all I need to do is to enter 300 like this. All right, and then immediately you will see uh, that there will be a list of search 300 uh, trainings appearing. All right, uh, but however, all right, the, the better way to do it is after you are uh, key in, uh, type in uh, 300, all right, in the search field, you can follow by the enter button. So once you uh, press the enter button on your keyboard, all right, you will be able to see under in the uh, global search screen, all right, these are the entire list of search 300 training, all right. So that is how easy you can do your searching. But of course, uh, if you have specific training that you are looking for, all right, so which I'm going to show an example as well. So for example, if I want to look at 300 um, sales, for example, all right, so here when I key in 300 space S A L E, I can press enter again on my keyboard, and then it will just bring me. All right, oh, sorry, I think I search wrong. So, so let me try it again. So here when I click on search 300 sales, for, ex for example, all right, you will see there are some. Maybe there's no uh, sales. No, maybe I'm going to find uh, use another example. Six, uh, 300 inventory. All right, when I clean 300 inventory and I click enter, all right, it will bring me to a list of the uh, 300 all right trainings pertaining to inventory module. All right, so for example, you are able to look at uh, 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 six 300 inventory specialists, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's how easy you can search uh, within the Sage University, all right, for any of the Sage 300 uh, courses or training. All right, so uh, some points to take note. So first, all right, uh, for those who are experienced uh, uh, using Sage 300, all right, uh, there is a training, all right, uh, in the uh, uh, training page, all right, where you can be able to learn about the latest Sage 300 product features as well for those who are financial accountants all right they are able to learn about uh, creating a new fiscal year or closing fiscal period so on and so forth and lastly for those who want to search for any of the six 300 uh, courses you are able to do so as well all right so in terms of uh, validation all right so we understand uh, for those uh, uh, customers, all right, uh, who are, who expire, all right, to uh, actually en uh, enhance in their career progression, all right. You want to set yourself apart from the crowd, all right. So here we are glad to uh, uh, to inform you that there will be uh, some specialized course, all right, in Sage University. Okay, so let me go back, click on select my product, Sage three hundred. View training. So as you scroll down here, all right, you will see that uh, you have a section on want to become a pro in Sage 300. So here you have a list uh, of uh, Sage 300 certifications for our customers. All right. So uh, assuming if you are a system administrator, all right, you will you may want uh, to earn a certification in terms of the Sage 300 security and system administrator specialist. Or assuming if you are an accounting manager, you might want to get yourself certified in our Six Three Hundred Accounting Manager. All right, so on and so forth. So here, as I as I show you, there are a lot of uh, certifications available. All right, here uh, you can also be an inventory specialist, order entry specialist, etc. Okay, so I'm just going to use the accounting manager. All right, uh, for illustration in this section. So let me just click on review training.
All right. So once you are um, click on the view training, all right, uh, in the uh, uh, accounting manager uh, role, all right, you will see that uh, this um, uh, page, all right, which shows you the six three hundred accounting manager learning package. So uh, I'm not going through the structure again because I've gone through this, all right. But I just want to um, point out to everyone, all right, that here. The learning package is unfortunate is uh, is not free, all right. Uh, which means that in order to earn your certification, all right, uh, you will need to actually pay a fees for this, all right. However, uh, having said that, we have a good news to share with everyone later on because we are going to give out some free coupon codes, all right, uh, for some uh, for those who are interested, all right. And and but however, this is a limited uh, time. Uh, for this, this offer is for a limited time only. Okay, so here basically you will see, all right, uh, if you would like to uh, click on uh, to take on uh, the role as an accounting manager, this is the learning package that you might want to go through, all right, which means that these are the trainings that you need to complete, all right, before you sit for the certification. Now, let me go back to, to show you in more detail, all right, in terms of certifications. All right, so here as you click on view roles, right, as I say, uh, in the accounting manager, all right, so uh, just now I've shown you in the learning package for the accounting manager, this is covered under the get started, all right, pillar, all right, so as an accounting manager, all right, you will need to, uh, in order to earn the certification uh, in uh, 6300 accounting manager, all right, you will need to complete these pillars progressively. So what this means is that you will you will need to complete all the necessary trainings in the get started pillar all right so once you have completed the next uh, get started pillar or the training there you will need to proceed further all right you will be allowed uh, the opportunity to try on the expert challenge okay so let me just click on the expert ch challenge All right, so when you click on the uh, expert challenge, right, you will get to see this is actually a short assessment. All right, so as you, how you can tell is that here you will see there's a, a, a title, the description is assessment, it means that the training type is an assessment. And again, all right, in the detail section, all right, you will be uh, uh, notified, all right, that this expert uh, challenge has 10 questions with a 20 minute time. Uh, uh, 20 minute time limit all right 20 minute time limit which means that for within 20 minutes you are you are supposed to answer 10 questions all right uh, pertaining to all the uh, uh, training that you have learned in the accounting manager learning package all right uh, of course um, again because you have uh, assuming you have uh, actually uh, uh, enroll for the uh, training package all right you will see that there's no cost for you but because i have not completed the training the system is also um, able to uh, identify as you can see this training is currently unavailable to you the reason for this is because i have not actually complete my uh, accounting manager learning package okay so that's how the system is able to identify so let me go back so lastly, once you have done the uh, expert challenge, all right, the next thing, obviously, the last step, of course, is to get certified. All right, so click on the certification assessment. So when you click on the uh, certification assessment, uh, you will bring you to the six three hundred accounting manager assessment. All right, user certification version two zero two three. Again, uh, in the details section, all right, you will be able uh, to know that the certification has 25 questions and you will need to complete these questions within 50 minute time limit, all right? So that means within 50 minutes, you, are a, you, you, you need to uh, answer all the 25 questions, which actually means that each question, you have less than two minutes or so, all right, to, to answer them. Okay, now another thing that I need to point out to you is that uh, again, the accounting manager assessment or any of the uh, certification assessment exams, uh, there is a cost right tied to it, right? As you can see, it costs about 294. Okay, I'm going to add this to 
uh, to the card now so that later on I'll be able to show you all right uh, in my next slide okay so let me go back to my presentation slide okay so yeah this is a summary of what I've covered earlier all right so um, for those uh, users who have actually experience in using 6300 and they would like to actually enhance their career progression all right by setting themselves apart from the crowd all right by getting the 6300 uh, customer certifications all right so first i mentioned all right you will need there are a couple of things that you want to take note so first you will need to complete all the trainings in the learning package all right in which is uh, listed in the get started pillar okay next right you might want to uh, test your competency all right by completing the expert uh, challenge assessment all right because uh, this is a short uh, a 20 minute time frame you will need to just answer about uh, 10 questions or so all right so this is just to give you a, a few a simulation of how the actual assessment exam will be like okay now finally after you are happy with the expert challenge uh, results all right you will need to go on all right to be certified all right of course that means that you will need to go for the certification assessment okay but like i mentioned all right uh because this is a specialization in your role all right there will be some fees applied okay so now like i mentioned to everyone earlier the good news is for a limited time period all right we will be giving out free coupon codes so what this means is that all right the coupon codes that you will receive from us allows you to actually earn the uh, certifications all right for any of the roles which you decide to specialize in okay so first of all how to apply the uh, coupon code all right so first you need to add the learning package to the uh, shopping cart which i've already shown you earlier all right let me go back to here so I hope you all can remember the last step when I was uh, here. All right, I, I click on the uh, uh, Sage 300 Accounting Manager Certification Assessment, all right, uh, to my shopping cart. All right, so this is how you can see. So on the top right-hand corner, right, so let me probably go back here to show everyone again. So on the top right-hand corner, all right, uh, you will see there's this uh, shopping cart icon, all right, and then you can see there's a one a red button with a one means that there's something inside the shopping cart that's to, to remind you that you have something uh, still in your shopping cart right I, I think most of us are familiar all right uh, because most of us should have done some online shopping before okay so click on the shopping cart and then you'll bring you to the shopping cart uh, screen now here you will get to see whatever trainings that you have selected all right that you would like to actually register for all right so uh, for 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 those uh, free courses, you will not get to see in the shopping cart, all right? Only for those uh, certification assessment or learning packages, all right, uh, that is uh, linked to the certifications, then you will see them appearing in the shopping cart, all right? So uh, taking this as an example, all right, as you can see, when I when I have uh, registered the C300 accounting manager in my shopping cart, there is a fee that I need to pay, which is about $0.294. Okay, so but in order not to pay for it, all right, I will need to email Sage some of my details, which which I'll be sharing with you later on, all right. And I'm going to show you that I'm going to apply this. Okay. Okay, so assuming there's this coupon code that's, that's uh, valid, all right, because right now I think uh, the, the coupon code is invalid, all right, but you will be given, not to worry about that, you will be given a coupon code, all right, that is valid, all right, as, as long as you have sent us the necessary information about yourself and your organization, all right, we will issue you the coupon code. But what I'm illustrating here is that with the coupon code that we have sent you, all right, you can enter the coupon code in this coupon code field and then you can click apply all right when you click apply all right you will see that um, this uh, uh, this course all right will be struck off all right and then a zero dollar will appear and then after which you can click proceed to check out all right so i have an example here on this uh, slide as you can, oh, sorry let me go back okay so on the right hand side of my slide you can see that i've actually uh, entered the search coupon all right 
and successfully. So when you see see that you have actually applied the coupon code successfully, right, the total should be zero dollars. Okay, which allows you to click proceed to check out. Okay, all right. So uh, one thing I want to point out to everyone is that the coupon code which are uh, uh, given to you, all right, uh, will expire on the thirty first of July. So like I mentioned, this is a limited time period offer only. Okay, for those who are interested, all right, please send an email to academy.asia at sage.com. All right, with the below details like your company uh, registered name, the contact person, the contact number, the destination, as well as the email address. Now, uh, you will also need to give our team all right five working days upon receiving your email to send you the uh, valid uh, coupon code. All right. Okay, so let me sum up what I've covered. All right, uh, to. Uh, point out to everyone or to share with everyone here the benefits of using Sage University. So as you have seen, right, uh, the resources that we have, the huge uh, database of pre-recorded trainings is able to help improve workflow, all right, increase productivity, and of course, to reduce the time that you will need to learn about our product, Sage 300. Okay, and in terms of flexibility, as you have seen, all right, uh, most of these courses, if not all, are online learning or anytime learning, which means that these are pre-recorded trainings, all right, which you can do it, all right, at your own time, at your own pace, all right, without even uh, the need to check with your business partner, okay. Now, it is convenient and scalable in a sense that we, you have seen that Sage University is a ready platform for any of our audience today. All right, you can be a new hire, a new Sage 300 user, or even uh, existing user, Sage 300 users who have experience using Sage 300, but they, uh, they would like to actually um, um, enhance or upscale their knowledge in our Sage 300 product as well. Okay, and then for those who are keen to learn about our new Sage 300 features or functionalities, we also have a, a pillar of uh, trainings available for you, all right? Uh, you can familiarize yourself with our web screen, all right, with the, uh, as compared to our desktop uh, uh, screen features, all right? Last but not least, all right, I mentioned any of the uh, e-learning or anytime learning are for free, all right, except for those uh, pro Sage 300 users who would like to enhance their career progression by earning uh, our Sage 300 customer certifications, all right, uh, you will need, all right, to, to assess these trainings for free, you will need to, uh, to uh, send in uh, email, all right, for our, uh, to our Sage team here, all right, and our Sage team will supply you the coupon code, which is only valid until 31st of July 2023. Okay, all right, so that's all for my section. And for now, I will pass on to my colleague Lin to go through with you how our tech partner solutions is able, uh, uh, the, our tech partner solutions is able to extend the capabilities of our Sage 300. To you, Lin. Thanks, thanks, Alvin. Um, there are more than the Sage University course that provide the kind of free learning um session for all of us. Now, you see how our Sage 300 users in many businesses right now, they are seeking ways to improve and embrace a do more with less mentality. We see how it's going ongoing development in modern business practices. There is also a mounting need that we know that the Sage 300 users have to transform your operation by investing in a, in a reliable, scalable solution. Now, the Sage 300 is uniquely positioned to help your company grow and also flexible to customization to what you need only. So you can quickly manage your accounting, your operation and distribution processes, but not overkill your business workload. We advise the customer buy what you need only. This is the framework of how you extend your capabilities of your Sage 300 within your business workload. Next. As what you see here, let's start with the organization. 
if your role is a finance, if your role is an accounts, financial controller, or even a new hire to run the finance process, should you want to improve or simplify your workflow or processes, here's what you can do. We go to the next one to see how it goes. We see how it's going to be help your organization within here. Interested in how C300 can run the digital transformation? You see on the next slide. Okay, um, the bottom line is that if you are helping your colleagues and company solve many of their pain points and want to bring the significant saving, you want to learn more, in fact, you can reach out to us, email to info.asia at sage.com for a demo or discovery meeting. Should you be interested in any of the capabilities within Sage 300, like the process automation, like the invoices, the expenses, um, the e-commerce, the workflow as what majority of C300 user company would like to have, simplify your workflow. You can reach out to us and we will arrange a demo and discovery meeting with you. Now, this is the way that we have providing in the session here. I'm going to post on the next slide to ask you guys for the Q&A session. There are, um, there are users who already pointed out the questions so Alvin, we go to the next slide and I will read out the questions that we have and you can answer accordingly. Sure, Lynn, go ahead. Mm. Um, the first question that just now the our, our customer is asking, during the registration, right, they are seeing the partner as an option in the questions. So the what is your relationship to Sage? But they can't find the current customer in that field. How to go about it? Alvin, during the registration time. Uh, sorry, Lynn, I need to look at the question again. Uh, okay. Lin, I am able to see the question in the chat box. Uh, uh, is it because we are the only one that can see? You open the question panel, or maybe I do uh, later, I will answer the question accordingly. The next question that comes here is that, are the training module free or must pay for learning outcome and certification? This is the next question from the other customer. Okay. so. Basically, um, in order to be clear about this, what you need to pay and what you do not need to pay, right? So unless you are going to earn the certifications, right, which means that whatever role you can be, whether you are a security and system administrator or you are accounting manager or you are a purchasing specialist, for example, all right, to, in order to earn these certifications, all right, you will need to attend, first of all, the, the get started, which means you need to, to complete all the trainings, which are not free, okay? Which means that you need to pay for this uh, uh, learning package, all right, for the role that you like to specialize in. And of course, uh, later on, once you have completed the expert challenge, you will need to proceed to take the actual assessment exam, all right, which also the assessment exam will not be free. So. Uh, to answer these questions, for those users, all right, who are keen to pursue the Sage 300 certifications, all right, only these courses are not free, okay? But like I mentioned, for limited time until 31st of July, we are going to give out free coupon codes, all right, to our audience here today, okay? So do email to our Sage team, with the information which I've shared, all right, and then we will give, we will provide you the coupon code which allows you, all right, to apply this coupon code, all right, to the to the shopping cart which I've also shared earlier, all right. So in order to enjoy the certifications for free. Mm. Okay. The next question is that the certificate fees is it what currency is it in? Is it in SGD or USD? All right, very good question. So it all depends during the, uh, if you have, if everyone can remember uh, when I was showing uh, 
the registration process, all right, where you need to complete the registration form, which I've gone through. There are a couple of fields which you need to, uh, to, to, um, to, end, to complete or enter, all right? There is a country field. So it all depends on the country which you have selected. So for example, why are you seeing a SGD 294 earlier, all right? Because I've selected, I mean, I've created my account because I mentioned that I'm staying in Singapore or I've selected Singapore as my country of residence, all right? For those who are in Malaysia, for example, all right, you will, you will, you will select Malaysia as your country of residence and then uh, Sage University, the system will be uh, able to actually uh, convert the currency to Malaysia ringgit. Right. Mm -hmm. So the, to answer that question, it all depends on the country of residence which you have selected. All right. When you are completing the uh, registration form. Okay. Um, so the next question from the floor is that um, if we want to use the coupon code and it's going to be expired in 31st July, does that mean that after the 31st July, it is not longer free? It is not longer complimentary for us? All right, very good question. So uh, my suggestion is no. So, so for example, I'll give you an example. So um, after right after this uh, webinar, all right, you can write to us with the, with the relevant information that we are asking for, and then we will provide you the coupon code. And then with the coupon code, you apply to the certification exam, right? So, but however, you may take a while for you to complete the certification. So maybe you will take about a week or a couple of weeks to complete it. Now, suppose, that you have uh, uh, now is in uh, August, all right? And of course, like I mentioned, uh, the coupon code is no longer valid. But at the point of time, when at the, at the point in time when you apply the coupon code, all right, the coupon code is valid. So, which means that when you apply the coupon code today, all right, you, you, you can take, um, uh, I mean, your time to complete the learning package as well as the certification exam all right within the uh, stipulated time frame usually it could be probably 30 to 60 days i i can't really remember all right because there will be a time period once you register for the uh, course you will be given a limited time period all right to complete the training all right so it all depends on the the question here is when will the uh, coupon code be valid so as long as you apply the coupon code all right before the 31st of july you are still able to enjoy the, the certification exams for free. Yeah. Okay, got you. So the next one is uh, I already replied to the um to the customer. What's the email to send for the coupon code again? Um, you can send the email to ask your query to academy.asia at search.com. So it will be uh, included in our presentation slides. Um, the next one, may I know where to get the registration form from which website? Um, no problem. The presentation slide will also tell you where is the registration form and link, which will be mentioned in the slides. Okay. Um, hmm. So right now, the next question is uh, regarding the recently that we have the webinar. Uh, I'm interested to know more about AP automation. Um, how do I know about this AP automation from the Sage University? So, uh, Ms. Fu, I will, will get back to you and will send you the respective link and have our colleague to connect with you on the AP automation. Um, I think that's about it from the related question from the Sage U. We are going to post one few more. Um, let's see what are the related questions with the Sage U. Okay, Elvin, I think that's about it. The question that we have for the CHU, um, I will post over to you and do the closing. All right, so thank you everyone uh, for the time today to join our CH300 customer webinar. So uh, just to uh, give you some key takeaways. So very the, the very first thing which I've shared and the most important uh, objective, right, for today is First, you will need to have your uh, account, all right, register successfully at Sage University, right? Otherwise, you will not be able to find all the all the 
necessary resources which are able to help you, all right, to gain knowledge in our CH300 product. All right, so please go through the slides because I've, uh, I've uh, uh, I think Lean will be sharing with everyone later, all right, the presentation slides which I've used, all right, make sure you go through the steps, all right, um, uh, to register your account first, all right, at Sage University, and then after which, all right, you can go through the other uh, slides which I've shared about uh, if, you are, if you are new to uh, Sage 300, all right, which are the training which are suitable for you or for those who are experienced using Sage 300, all right, what could you learn? All right, about the latest Sage 300 features, so on and so forth. All right, and of course, for those who are keen uh, to advance their career progression, all right, uh, they can also consider, all right, to seek for our Sage 300 certifications. All right, and then for a very, uh, accept, um, for a very limited time, all right, we are also offering uh, coupon codes, all right, for you to earn these Sage 300 certifications for free. Okay, last but not least, Lean has also mentioned, all right, um, the, uh, some of our tech partner solutions we are, which are well capable to extend the capabilities of our Sage 300 product. All right, so that's all for today, everyone. All right, I hope you have a, a good day ahead, all right, and enjoy your lunch. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.